Good morning. Well, hello. How are you doing? I'm good. It's good to be back. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm it's been glad a few days for me. So it's always nice to get back on with you. Yeah, it's Friday morning, brother. It is. This week is uh, zoomed by us. <laughs> Gone in a snap, man. It's been. Yeah. yeah. I. It's been. Uh, it has been probably one of the more busy two weeks I've ever, I probably really have ever had over the past two weeks, but it's been so good. Good. God has done some pretty amazing things and, and, uh, man. Well, I, I, I do have a uh, quick story to start out with. Uh, yeah. I've got a truck driver friend. His name is Emmanuel. Yeah. Uh, we helped him out and he's down in the Florida area right now. And uh, he ran a, up against a couple of roadblocks to get a job, uh, but was trusting in the Lord and trusting and trusting and trusting. And uh, God has worked some things out and uh, he's uh, he just didn't hand it to him on a platter. He's going to have to work for a few things and it's going to take a little bit of time, but He's he's uh, he's excited about who he is in Christ and about what the Lord is doing for him and how he's providing and and yeah. opening up this door and that door and closing yeah. the doors that he shouldn't go down. He's just got an awesome testimony. It's just fun. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so good. You know, um, I I actually I, I I got a chance to sit down with somebody um, a couple of days ago and and you know they're just like I don't see you. they're. Like, it's amazing that you guys are seeing good things. You know, you say you see in good things. And it's like, I don't know. I don't see, don't understand where it is. Um, but it, it is amazing how God is continuing to work in the midst of all this other, all the other stuff going on. And, uh, you know, people are, are coming to know who they are in Christ and, uh, and really beginning to grow from there. Man, it's, if you haven't been a part of somebody, just them grabbing a hold of who they are in Christ and seeing the the light go on for them, man, you are missing out because that is that is so much fun. Yeah, begin to see them light up for for who God is and and man, so yeah, it's fun when um, when people especially turn their feet for the very first time or for a long time. And yeah, I spoke with a with a dear friend yesterday and. And one of the things that I said to him, I mean, his excitement is out the roof. It's 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 <laughs> over the top. And I just reminded him, I said, don't let go. He said, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to, which I, <laughs> I love that. I mean, yeah. it's just that creates excitement in me. I yeah. Just love it. Don't let go. So, yeah, that's good. good. Yeah. Well, hey, we're in uh, we're in Matthew, which we have been for quite a few days. Even we, uh, but that's Quite not a, a bad days, thing. That's a, it's not a bad thing because we're within scripture. That's, that's the right. great thing that's about right. it. Yeah. And uh, uh, I believe we were supposed to start on uh, uh, chapter third or chapter sixteen, verse thirteen. But I'm going to back up to chapter or verse twelve. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I I wanted to make a comment about that. So let me read uh, verse. 12 of chapter 16, Matthew. I'm reading out of the New Living Translation, um, 1996. <laughs> it needs some. It needs some binding help or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, it says uh, then. At, then at last they understood that he wasn't speaking about yeast or bread, but about the false teachings of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Mm. Now I'm not a baker. Uh, You're not. No, I'm. I I'm, wouldn't have thought that. I would have thought you were an avid baker. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I've ever baked a thing in my life. Maybe on the easy bake oven back in the day. I, did, I, did you? I don't. I don't even. Know. <laughs> I'm not a baker. So, but but uh, yeast. Um, I think it goes throughout the entire dough ball or whatever and makes it rise. And um, so anyway, I was thinking about that. And and where it's drawing, it's it's pinpointing the the teachings of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, which in my mind, and again I put myself back in the day, was false teaching. It, it plainly says that, but they didn't even realize it. The people didn't realize that it was false teaching. I mean, they 
they held these guys in in high esteem and they were the authority and yeah. um i i just i i think about that and um i think about um how they how they approached people um there's a song out i don't remember who sang it but it was it, it was something about uh, a slow burn and how how you how they probably just continued to um, speak to people in a way that they just kind of accepted it and said, well, you know, that isn't quite right, but it'll be okay. Right. And I, I, I keep thinking about um, a little wrong and a little wrong and a little wrong that we just kind of accept into our lives turn into a big wrong eventually. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I think this, this, particular verse is a warning to us to say be on the lookout yeah. uh, there's false teachers out there so uh get in within the pages of scripture uh get godly counsel um people that you know absolutely love you and you know their heart who will not lead you astray and seek the truth sure. yeah yeah, yeah. So, well, I think that I think that's the I mean, number one, you know, I was at, this is a part of the conversation we had, too, is just the, uh, that I had with this this individual was they're talking about just, uh, you know, the the end, uh, the end days and, and uh, the Antichrist that will eventually show, you know, will show up and um, and just not not wanting to be led astray by that. And, uh, you know, one of the important things I said to one of the things I said was, well, number one. You should put all your all your eggs in in a basket like that anyways you should be doing your own checking and, and your own reading to 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 verify what's being said and and i would say that for anytime you're listening to us anytime you're you're uh, you check yes. <laughs> we, we encourage you to do your own you know do Amen. your own study and get into it and 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 read it and and go into that because we're we're human beings you know, and uh, the well, number one, the last thing is we never want to lead you astray. We don't want to do that. Yes. But yeah, at the same time, we are human beings. So uh, it is important that you are you are doing your own your own study in that and you are checking yes. to make sure that that is. Yeah. So. Well, we're glad that uh, those of you who have decided to come along are with us. And yes. uh, so here we go. Uh, verse 16 uh, or yeah, yeah, or. Chapter 16, verse 13. Here we go. When Jesus came to the region of, and again, I'm, I'm going to say these words as I know them anyway. Maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong. But when Jesus came to the region uh, of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do, you, who do people say that the Son of Man is? Hmm. Well, they replied, some say John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. And others say Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. Then he asked them, who do you say that I am? Can we, can we, yeah, can we pause for a moment in that? We can. We can. We because, can. because that first question is pretty easy to answer, right? Well, yeah, yeah. They, tell, they say this and they say this and they say this and they say this. <laughs> it's always a lot easier to say what somebody else is thinking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then, he then he turns around and asks, well, who do you say I am? Yeah, I, I, you know, I just so I so badly at times wish I could. I wish it had a a timeline that came that comes with this, like, you know, like almost like stage direction where you get to you begin to see what what took place and uh, how they responded in that. Because, uh, I mean, Simon Peter, I mean, he he's pretty bold, so I mean, he may have jumped right up right on it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I feel like there's like this awkward pause. Oh, oh, oh that's a big question right there. <laughs> that is a big question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, <clears throat> uh, he says, so then he asked him, who do you say that I am? It was a, a very, very point blank question. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't messing around. He, he, he was, he was out for an answer. And he didn't give it easy either, too. There was no yes or no. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's see. <laughs> so Simon Peter answered, 
you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, you are blessed, Simon, son of John, because my father in heaven has revealed this to you. You did not learn this from any human being. Now I say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. Mm. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Whatever you lock on earth will be locked in heaven, and whatever you open on earth will be opened in heaven. Then he sternly warned them not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. Sternly. <laughs> I, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, and so I, I think the importance of this, too, is just the fact, fact that... Um, so I'm, I, I, can I, I want to read what Jesus had to say in what it says in, in my in the NIV. Yes, please. Because it, it reads way different than what yours, not way different, but it just is, is the sentence are formulated differently. So it's, okay. it kind of reads different to me. So it says this, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but by, by my father in heaven. And, it, and I tell you that you are Peter and on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the king of the king of kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So it, it reads it, it's the same thing, right? It's saying the same thing. It just it, it just when you read it, I was like, well, this looks different to me. And um, because what it's saying, I just love the fact that I will the idea that I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Yeah. And you think about that. You think about this, too, where, I mean, he's already, Jesus is already, he's he's foreshadowing the future for, for Peter and what this is going to, what this is going to look like for him. And, uh, and when, in this idea that even when he, re, because here's this name change, right? He goes from Simon, Peter, he goes from Simon Peter to Peter. And just this idea that, there's there's this this shift that's going to take place, and even when he he eventually reverts back to Simon in in his Simon ways, he still sees him as Peter, and uh, and the fact that he says that on that on this rock I will build my church. Yeah, yeah, a lot of responsibility. Uh, yeah, on, on him. Um, one of the cool things that, and what, what I'm thinking about is he spoke unbelievable life into Peter. Oh, yeah. To imagine Jesus speaking to him, changing his name, and actually commissioning him who he is in Christ, who yeah. he is in the kingdom. Yeah. And he would be a, a, a cornerstone. Upon yeah. this rock, I will build my church. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I, I even think about that too, because you you brought it up—the unbelievable responsibility, the the and uh, and the pressure that's that came that came with that. And you know, obviously, we the more we go down the road, the more that we see this, and, and we see that Jesus continues to affirm who He is. And uh, and something that just popped in my mind with that was just the whole idea of of him telling him who he is and what he what what it's going to look like for him. He did he does you know Jesus uses these words that I, I only do what I see my father do, mm -hmm. right? And and you look at that in the context of what he what he is saying to what he's saying to Peter is this idea of of truly that this is what this is what the, the heavenly Father does, but this is what us is earthly fathers are supposed to do for our for our sons and daughters is we're to affirm who they are and what we see for them in the future like that's what that's what we're called to do and so um i it just i just saw it in a completely different light as, as you began to speak that because it's so important that uh that obviously we hear this being said about peter but this is what we should be saying about one another this is the things that we should be looking for for others and realizing that even though they may they may see themselves as this or, or they may others may see them as this that we see the gold that's within them 
and draw that out and speak that. Yeah. Well, and again, speaking words of life and not of death. Yeah. He basically commissioned him to be a leader, yeah. a gigantic leader. Oh, yeah. and, and and just as you you're talking about when we when we when we're talking with people about the Lord, whether they be a a fellow Christian or a, a, just a brand new believer or someone who has yet to come to Christ, um, you have to speak life into them. Yeah. Got to speak life into them. And Jesus was a master at that. And uh, I mean, uh, Peter just had to feel so good, first of all, about, uh, and, I, and I believe that this is the very first time uh, as we see in scripture where Jesus is declared Messiah, son mm -hmm. of the living God. Okay. Um, and Peter got, he, he was revealed that. And, and what did he do? He spoke it into existence. Yeah. He didn't hide it. He didn't keep it, you know, hidden. He spoke it. And it turned out to be that it was absolute 100% truth. And Jesus confirmed that in him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so cool. What a what just what a cool um, uh, display here and uh, exchange of words and wow, yeah. So I think I think obviously I don't want to just kind of blow past this portion of it too of just the yes. idea that the uh, <clears throat> that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven, and that just the idea that that this that our our uh, what we experience in the physical, what we do in the physical, has heavenly circumstances. Yes. All right. And so and uh, so that we have to we have to be we have to be really aware of that. Um, whether it be the words that we we speak, I mean, words are huge in all of this. The. Mm. Um, there, there are definitely, you know, we, when we look about that, look, we look at this, especially you look at the idea of that, what we, what we, uh, bind, what we tie up, what we, and that can be binding that to, to people. And so that's, that's that stuff where Jesus is, is expressing this, that this, I'm binding this to you, or I'm binding this to you, that this is who you are. Right. Right. And so we can bind, we can bind positively or we can bind negatively. Yes, and yeah. so. We have to be aware of that, even if we're not saying it directly to to someone, even if we're not saying, well, that's who they are like. We're, we're binding that to them that has yeah. that has supernatural circumstances to it, consequences to it. And we have to be aware of that. That's why it's so powerful. What we what we say is because yeah. there is a heavenly realm that these things are these things are all taking place. And and uh, those things will end up finding their way to that person. Yeah, well, and just like we spoke. Uh, here a day or two ago, it's not what you put in your mouth, it's what comes out of your mouth. Yeah, yeah. That 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 means everything. Yeah. Life and death for yeah. sure. Yep. Well, I um, uh, that last verse, uh, I want to talk just a little bit about that, and I don't know if there's anything up above that, but then he sternly warned them not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. What does yours say? Uh, pretty similar. He he warned his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking about that. Why? Why would why would he say that? And uh, I did a little bit of research on it. And um, um, for someone to declare him Messiah, uh, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Son of the Living God, um, was something that um, I I think. The people of that day, well, even today, would think, oh, our leader has shown up, and he is going to rule with an iron fist. Right. And uh, I think he is telling them here, and he says, I, I, I really like the word sternly. I don't know why I like that, but I like that word, uh, to not tell anyone. Um, I think he doesn't want to cause a rebellion. Hmm. There's already, I mean... There's already an established um, authority, and he has come to be a servant, sure. not a uh, uh, a 
I, I can't even think of the word, not a, not a dictator, not a, an iron fist guy that's going to say, you, you got to do this or you've got to do that. Uh, he came meek, mild, and uh, just delivered truth and love. Well, I mean, you look at you look at the prophecy for him too. Is 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 that which is what you just what you said that that because the tensions are so high right now for him to speak out and and say that the, and declare this to to many, you would experience that what you're just talking about this rebellion that's already that's already happening, but it. At a, on a grander scale, if if that that begins to leak out, even though I'm sh there's already murmurings and rumors and, and that all being talked about, I'm sure already. Um, yeah, I I always I, I find that interesting as well. I just think I think too, just the idea of how already already there already you have the the Pharisees and the, the uh, Sadducees are already looking for opportunities to to end. We we already know that they're plotting out murderous murderous intent so uh, we already we already see that taking place and then for this to kind of go out like that it only quickens that and yeah. the timing was it wasn't that time yet because there was still time that needed to take place um the prophecy was still still in effect so right. well they had to come to uh what i would say a full understanding sure. of of who he was right is the real mission that he was on yeah. and who they were following and who they would give the good news about. Absolutely. Uh, I think they were still coming under the understanding of, of all of that. Yeah. It was so new to them. And right. uh, we said, I mean, he, he, he has upset the apple cart and yeah. it, it was just completely foreign to them what he was asking them to do. Right. So. Right, because it, yeah, they weren't they weren't ready to do what he was calling them to do that they hadn't called them to do quite yet. They were still in that training phase of the of what this is eventually going to look like for you, and you need to experience a lot more tension tension filled times to to really understand what this is going to look like. Yeah, and something that I have kind of forgotten about about the uh, Pharisees and the Sadducees is. They were at odds with one another. Right. Until yeah. Jesus came. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they right. joined. Forces. That's uh, right. And he, he, uh, uh, they were taking away all their authority, everything that you know. Their not not only their authority, but their standing within the community uh, yeah. was all starting to crumble, and yeah. uh, they could see it. Well, it's the it's the idea that there's 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 only a certain few ways that you can unite, you can unite people, and one of them is a is a, a com, uh, compelling vision, or a common enemy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, interesting, interesting. Well, I don't think we can go on. Um, uh, next is uh, Jesus predicts his his death for the very first time. I'm looking forward to discussing that and. Um, yeah. But I think we probably ought to come to a whoa. Sounds good. So, yeah, yeah. So, would you like to pray first or country? I'll let you choose, my friend. All right, I'll I'll, I'll take first. Okay. I'll, take, I'll take what we have discussed. And, All right, uh, sounds good. All right, <clears throat> Father God, thank you for today, and uh, I just thank you for Pastor Nate, and I love his heart and I love his family. Uh, love who he is in Christ and uh, um, thank you that um, I get to do this with him and uh, with the other pastors and the other leaders of the church and uh, thank you for those who who um, who have joined us and uh, mm -hmm. Lord God I ask your blessing on each one of them as individuals their families their extended families father I thank you that they are, uh, they, they could be doing anything else, uh, um, but they've chosen to study the word with us uh, to just try to figure it out just a little bit better. Lord God, I thank you for Peter. I thank you for his words. You are the Christ, uh, the son of the living God. And uh, Lord God, we need to hear those words. We need to be reminded of those words because 
uh, we're, we're forgetful and uh, we forget who 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 you are and who we are in you at times uh, amongst all the chaos. Uh, thank you for this awesome reminder from Peter today. You are the Christ. You are the son of the living God. You are the one we adore and admire. You are the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And Father, we just thank you for uh, allowing us to be part of who you are. So Father, uh, thank you for this study today. And uh, thank you for the revelation that um, you, our Father, gave to Peter on that day and that he has shared with us with words, words of encouragement, words that empower us, words that say we're not going to let go. We just thank you, Lord, and praise you today in Jesus' name. Well, Father, thank you for who you are. Uh, Lord, thank you for the for this this nation that we get to live in, that we could freely uh, be able to speak about you and, and worship you and, and and praise you and say your name aloud and share who you are with others. And Lord, we just thank you for the ability and the capability to be able to do this. And uh, Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for Rick and and uh, boy, he just um, he poured out a phrase that constantly comes out of his mouth. Or that I think about this nation could really flip things around if we. Uh, we took this. We get to do this. And I pray for the, I pray for our nation. We are uh, so divided and so far away from one another that Lord, if we would uh, if we would adopt that mentality that we get to do this and we get to be in this together, whatever it looks like. I really believe things would change. That we wouldn't be so offended and so so worried about what we want <laughs> but father what you want thank you for being the the central focus for us lord i pray that this that this nation would uh would be drawn to you and that starts with the, with your people so lord i pray for your people in this nation i pray for those who consider themselves christ followers that they would uh that they would put down their their arms their their uh they would put down their um, their weaponry, <laughs> that they would put down their their uh, their reasons to want to fight each other, but Lord, that they would choose to to see one another with the way that you see us, with the compassion that you have, with the goal that you see in each and every one of us, the the purpose and the plan that you have for us, Lord, that we would begin to see one another that way, and we would see those who don't know you that way as well, Lord, that would draw all men unto you, that you would be a beacon in the midst of this darkness. So, Lord, we uh, we honor you. Lord, I, my prayer would be that we would uh, we would walk out of today ready to walk into into our into our our world, our nation, and uh, and to live out what you called us to be. That we would love one another, we would love you, and we would love one another. And how things would change. And I pray for our leadership. I pray for, uh, I pray for our government. I pray for our, uh, I lift up our our frontline workers. I pray for our uh, our our armed guard, our our our, our military. I, I I pray for our um, our first responders, Lord. We lift them up to you. We, I, I I just pray that they would find themselves in safety, or that they would see, uh, they would be able to witness what you what you witness, Lord. That they would see. Uh, they would see people with compassion. Lord, I pray that they would, uh, that all, all of us would, would find ourselves in that place. So Father, we honor you with all that we have today. Uh, I pray that we would have, uh, we would seek opportunity to let you show through. We praise you, Lord. We thank you for all that you have done and all you are still yet to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, brother. Yeah. All right. Well, blessings to one and all. Yeah. A great day and uh, awesome weekend. Yeah, a great weekend. Great weekend coming. All right. So. Bye, everybody. <laughs>